Hello and thank you for joining me today. Today on this Dreadlocks Journey Talk, I'm answering a question for a viewer who recently left a comment for me. The viewer's name is Dreadhead Hundo. And Dreadhead Hundo asked me the question, if I decided to get freeform dreads, would it be possible for me to transition and retwist them later if I do not like the way that they form. Here's my take on it. Other people may have a different take on it because everybody sees or defines freeform dreadlocks differently. For me, freeform dreadlocks means no manipulation, no separation, um, so they can grow as thick or as skinny as they want to grow. So when you say if they don't turn out the way you want them, can you retwist them and all that? Um, let me just tell you, like mine, I may have like four or five of them joined together. Like this big one right here, if you can see it clearly. This one is several, you know, joined into one over years. I mean, I've had my dreads for 17 years, so. And this one right here is, you know, the width at the root of a uh, probably a, a small wrist so starting all over again I mean you said transition and retwist it um, that's just not even in that's not even in the vocabulary of freeform dreadlocks for me for me it's just letting your hair form the way that it wants to form and not like manipulating it and uh, interfering with the process, a natural process. So, I don't know, I mean, if you let your hair, let your locks go ahead and free, do free form and uh, join together Congo, as you would say, which mine have done, um, you, if you wanted to go back to like retwisted salon style locks, I'd say you'd probably have to start all over again. That's just my opinion. You'd have to, like, I guess comb your dreads out and start all over from the beginning if that's what you want to do. But with this freeform dreadlocks, the way that I define it is that exactly that. They're forming freely, and I'm not, like, spending all this time to retwist my roots and um, separate them so that they can be a desired shape and size all over my head. There's I don't know if you can tell by looking at the camera. I'll turn around. But my hair is so many different lengths and sizes. I have really tiny ones, really long ones, really thick ones, really, you know, in between ones. A lot of the skinny ones have joined in with the the big thick ones. So for me this is more of what I see freeform dreadlocks as being is forming freely so uh, I don't know if that answers your question because uh, if you end up having freeform dreadlocks you can't transition into like twisting your hair <laughs> because look at that I mean look how thick these are these are pretty thick <laughs> so yeah I, I guess think about it before you do it if this isn't what you want you don't want your hair to end up you know joining together some people decide to um, just separate them so that they don't join and end up with really thick ones like I have that's another option too you know just as your dreads grow in just separate them so that they're not joined together to form a huge massive lock <laughs> I like that though and that's why I continue to let them join as they want you know because that's just the whole point of freeform dreadlocks for me is for it to be a natural process and that's something that I'm observing you know every single day and counting how many I have on my head and all that kind of stuff you know that's cool if you, that's what you want to do if you're interested in how many dreads are on your head and keeping it like I guess uniformed but for me freeform dreadlocks that's not what it is it's not uniformed it's not organized it's random and it's it's nature my hair is still kind of wet it's nature that's what nature does and 
So yeah, just think about that, you know, before you venture off and just let your hair do what it wants to do. If that's something that's that you're ready for, go for it. But, you know, transitioning and retwisting it and all that, I'm I'm probably the wrong person to talk to about that because for one, you know, that's not involved in the process of uh, freeform dreadlocks. Twisting, you know, is not involved. And let me tell you one of the reasons why uh, I decided to go freeform or let my hair f form dreadlocks naturally is because uh, the first set of locks that I had, I told you that I, well, I told some other whoever watched the other video where I mentioned this a few videos back where I talked about my first experience with my first set of dreadlocks which was like 96, 97 and, um, and I noticed them joining you know together in one mass and I was looking all <laughs> like I am now pretty much but at the time I wasn't ready for that but now, obviously, 17 years later, almost 18 years in July, I'm totally ready for it, and I have it. And it's just leaving them alone and letting them just organically flow and create their own work of art. <laughs> That's pretty much what it's doing, you know. It's forming its own, you know. It's got its own personality, so... If that's not something you want, then, you know, I guess Reformed Dreadlocks probably isn't something that's right for you. Because uh, it's very relaxed, and you don't have to fuss over it tons, you know. Just keep it clean, you know. When, you know, after you clean it, make sure it's really nice and dry, you know. Some mildew or anything, you know. Try to put natural things on your head always. And it's not just about what you put on your head either. It's what you put inside your body as well lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, plenty of fresh clean water, and get outside in the sun, you know, soak up the sun, exercise, move your body, you know, do some yoga, stretching out, and um, all of these things helps for a healthy head, so I hope that helps, I mean, I gave you more information probably than you're asking for, but maybe it'll give you some uh, food for thought to think about it, you know, if that's the way, the route that you want to go, because I couldn't imagine, at least for me personally, I couldn't imagine like letting my hair grow like its own natural way, and then go, oh, I don't want that, and then go back and, you know, start all over again and just re and get into like twisting it and stuff. I don't know, just once I started on this journey the second time around, that was it. You know, I'm not going back, so... I hope that helps you, Dreadhead Hundo, and I hope that helps anybody out there that's uh, questioning and wondering whether or not that that's the route that they want to go as far as dreadlocks go. For me, I think it's the most uh, liberating uh, form, a way of letting your hair lock, and just letting Mother Nature do what it knows how to do. Alrighty, thank you guys for joining me for this uh, show today. Um, Next week, I'm probably going to be sharing with you uh, some of the uh, the dreadlock beads that I make. Like I said last week, but I don't have any right now. But I want to show you the uh, cloth beads that I make. They're more like sleeves now. Anyway, and it's another way just kind of to adorn them and honor them and show your dreadlocks how much you love them. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing. These video, this video and other videos, and I look forward to uh, sharing more with you next week. Alright, peace.